Morning all. 1st of October today, huh? Blimey, where did the year go? Um, if you want to get me a Christmas present, by the way, uh, become a full member at Chess World. No hard sell or anything, but if you become a full member at chessworld.net, which is a correspondence style site, um, it means um, a lot to me. I can carry on doing videos and having a good time on YouTube all day. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, chessworld.net. This is the Internet Chess Club, in case you're curious. This is the Internet Chess Club for Blitz here. And I'm using the five minute auto pairing, that one of the toughest. Um, sort of online rating systems because you cannot choose uh, your opponent. So I'm just clicking one. It could be anyone. It could be um, a GM. It could be Baritone. 2054. Okay. I'm over 2200 at the moment, which is um, which is good. Now, um, this Rick to Rosa, I think I need to play Bishop F6 or other stuff if I'm going to get into that again. If, if he's going to play this or Bishop E3, I think someone's pointed out. That the bishop g5 f3 uh, is a waste of time retreating the bishop back. I'm losing actually uh, a couple of tempo at least, so I'm going to try with bishop e3. Forget bishop g5. If I'm going to play g4 g5, I don't want to lose too much time. Now he's restricted it. Blimey! So he's probably listening to this commentary some somewhere. How? <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Why is he restricted? Not many people do that. That is a move. I've seen that move before. Um, which means actually maybe I should have played bishop g5 to trick him that I'm playing the old line. Uh, maybe that's one benefit that I missed. But anyway, okay, so g4 is restrained. So what to do here? Um, now that I'm protecting the a2 pawn, actually, bishop b5, can I get three pawns here quite safely? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get three pawns for the bishop. Okay. I think I've I've seen this in the game of Bronstein uh, once, especially now that he's weakened a bit um, some squares over here. So I've got three pass pawns over here. So maybe rook d1, knight c5. <clears throat> Let's see, how do I pile on the pressure? Rook d1, knight c5, c3, b4. Would that be any good? Mind you, there's a sort of knight maneuver like this, ah, which he's already using. Still, I can put the bishop on. No, I can just lose the bishop. Oh dear. Just almost lost it. You can take it now. I wanted to preserve that bishop. That's a shame. Oh dear. First little disaster. Um, okay. Knight c5, c3, b4. Well, that was an active piece though. Uh, if I can just double rook d6 again. Okay, so d5 or knight c5. I think I'm attracted to knight c5. Or even rook c3 to c5. That's a major threat. If I can just win another pawn with rook c5, I'd be really happy having four pawns here. Uh, but he's going to castle here, isn't he? Um, if he castles rook c7. Uh, okay, so the bishop is probably going to move. Unless he's going to exploit back row. Okay, so he's tying down. Um, isn't the pawn now a bit vulnerable? No, it's knight d7. Okay. So he's tying down my bits. What about a3? There's rook b8, knight c5, rook a3, knight e6. Hmm. What about rook d6? Or rook d3? Or c3? Probably I want to get these pawns going. Maybe c4. Uh, I don't know. Or well, knight c1 to d3 would attack e5. I think I'll go for that actually. So that protects a2 anyway. So b3, knight d3. It unblocks the b pawn as well, another perk. Okay, do I want this exchange? Probably. Um, just to get the pawns going. Get the rook in first before knight d3 though. So, okay. So knight d3 now. I'm going to tie a piece up to protect e5. Nope, not yet. Okay. Threaten knight e5 again. If I can play b3, okay. For c4. Just to get these pawns going, hopefully without losing a major pawn too easily. About knight b4 to d5. Or if I win g7 if he moves the knight. 
Okay, uh, so knight b4 to d5, or check. I'm throwing the check. It's a bit annoying. Or is it? I don't know if it's annoying actually. Probably not. I might have. I think he's got knight c5. I think the key is to get these pawns going somehow. If I exchange off yet another. Would it matter? Three pawns? Okay, let's go for that. Uh, so, three pawns over here. If I fix these pawns, is that too dangerous? If I don't. Right, if I play h3, I'm, I've got a weakness here on g2. I want to try and stop. Um, knight c5, I think, as an option. So, say king moves b4 <coughs> to stop knight c5. And if h3, I think g3. <coughs> if takes, then this one's going to be uh, weak, though. Uh, I don't know if that was the right decision. Okay, I, wanted, I did want to stop knight c5, though. So, can I get my a pawn working here in this simplified position? a4, a5, and there's all of a sudden a bit of pressure. Yeah, so this is in. I think I've got a book by Bronstein. This is one of the games. He's got this uh, bishop b5. Or was it a Kasparov video as well? Anyway, knight b6 is a serious threat. Uh, that'll be winning a pawn, if I'm not careful. So a4, knight b6, winning a pawn. Unless I've got b5 check and knight b2, but then king c5. There's also, hang on, a4, knight b6, there's knight. B2, but then B4. I, I need to keep control, I think, of um, the C5 square. So if I play check first, and then King B4 to play C5 check. So King B6, I can play King B4 for C5 check. I don't think I've ever won a game with this uh, sacrifice. Not on YouTube. I don't think I've tried it that much. Anyway, Bishop B5. It'd be quite good fun if I did win this, of course. Um, so c5 to knight b6. Now a4, a5, then c5, or a4, a5, a6, then c5. Anyway, getting the a pawn up surely is going to be a cause of concern. If I take, then I'm exposing my f3 pawn here. Uh, on the other hand, I do remove a dangerous. Um, I do remove uh, a dangerous pawn, but how is he going to sack? How is he going to get to h2? Okay, I'm just going to play this and hope for the best. I don't know how he's going to get to h2. Maybe I can try and win that f h3 with. Um, okay, e4 is going to be weak. Oh there. Get these pawns going. I've exposed a2 though. I have to move that. Play a5. There's knight f2 if I need it. Oh, I would really like to win this game. Um, so bishop, okay, I get these pawns going again for b6. b6. Oh, what about knight f2? Oh, hang on, I don't want to tie down the knight. b6 is looking good for knight, king c6, a6. Bishop d3, a7. Let's get a move on then. No, hang on, I don't want to lose c5. Try and, uh, I've just tied down my knight, haven't I? He's going to play g4, my knight's tied down. 34 seconds as well. Tragic. Unless I can get in king c5 now, b6, just to try and get the march going again. If I can get b6 in 30 seconds. Have I got a point here? I think I might have a point. A6, you can play takes. Oh, okay. Cooking with gas. 26 seconds. And get rid of his pawns to, to avoid losing. Um, okay, three pawns up.
get this one going. Thirteen seconds. I'll get two queens for speed. Ah, oh, I've just stalemated him. Ah, oh, I'll fool that. <laughs> oh no. That's just typical, that's just typical. I still made him. Ah! <laughs> I threw that effort with the past pawns and the past pawns over there. Uh, I, look, my excuse is I only had eight seconds, yeah? I, I was in routine. That's a danger. Look, if you've got two queens, don't still make the opponent. If there's anything you get from this video. <laughs> anyway, okay. Oh dear, oh dear. But anyway, look, the peace sacrifice, it worked in principle. <laughs> it's just that in practice, I've never won with it. But in principle, <laughs> it's obviously very good if you can get the pawns going. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear. He, he embarrassed me by not resigning and then getting a stalemate. How often does that happen? Ah, mind you, this is a good trick to go towards um, the queens here. A6, stepping towards the queens. I have to remember that. <laughs> I mean, I don't even get that in bullets, yeah. <laughs> I get it here in a five minute. I had eight seconds left. Oh well. Comments or questions on YouTube. Ah, thanks very much.